ousted presidents, stashed cash, gold, diamonds and other precious items in secret spots in his palace in Tunis. State television says President Zin al Abidin Ben Ali was toppled last month after 23 years of authoritarian rule. Film footage of just one of his safes showed the extent of the former leader's wealth, with large wads of 500 euro notes, as well as other treasures including priceless jewellery. The Tunisian broadcast said the riches would be redistributed to the people. Anti-government demonstrations spreading like wildfire across the Middle East as crowds of protesters sweep the streets on foot, fighting and in many cases dying for change in their countries. Celebrations erupted in Bahrain's Pearl Square after the country's royal family ordered the military to leave the area and not attack protesters. Thousands fought through riot police and tear gas to regain control of the square, the central rallying point of the uprising. Days of violence have led to at least five people being killed by security forces. Government snipers, meantime, in Libya have killed at least 15 people at a victim's funeral as the country's autocratic ruler continues to crack down on protesters. Human rights and opposition groups say at least 84 people have been killed in attacks across the country. Thousands have taken to the streets over the last few days, calling for an end to the 41-year reign of Muammar Gaddafi. Gaddafi has created a near-total news blackout, shutting down the Internet to silence protesters and foreign media. Gunfire heard in the Yemeni capital on the 10th day of massive protests. Riot police and government supporters opened fire, killing at least one protester and wounding five. The people are demanding President Ali Abdullah Saleh step down after 32 years in power. Clashes also reported today in Kuwait, where police fired tear gas at hundreds gathered. And in Algeria, where baton-wielding police overwhelmed and beat back protesters, calling for that country's 73-year-old ruler to step down. The son of a top Hamas leader embraces Christianity and confronts radical Islam. If they will... I'm not trying to offend uh, Muslims. I love them. Those Muslims are my family. But you are going... But Mosab Hassan believes his story can change the lives of millions of Muslims, whose faith he feels is also in crisis. I believe that Islam is, is collapsing already. Because it's collapsing. It, yeah, it is collapsing. It looks from the outside, it's growing, but from the inside, it's completely collapsing. It's not uh, giving uh, answers to the people. It's not improving their lives. It's not helping them at all. Within 10 years, that's it. Islam is going to be over.